plastic and cosmetic surgeon. And who are your buddies here? Uh, these are a type of leech called Herudo medicinalis, which is uh, the medical leech. Uh, there's a, a whole lot of different species of leeches. This is the only one that really works really well on human beings. Now, we've heard about leech use by doctors for centuries. Uh, mm -hmm. Bloodletting in leeches was a common practice hundreds of years ago. And in fact, uh, physicians used to be called leeches. And, uh, <laughs> uh, and where they charge for fees. <laughs> exactly. and some places Maybe are they still charge too much that. back in the old days, too. <laughs> Uh, uh, the uh, uh, reason that leeches became popular treatments, I think, back then was because we, they didn't have alternative treatments. And bloodletting can be a good treatment uh, for a whole lot of things, such as, say, congestive heart failure, which may have affected a whole lot of people back in the Middle Ages. Uh, uh, removing a whole lot of blood from their lower limbs where they're swollen uh, might have been a helpful thing. Uh, the leech saliva has a whole lot of things in it that, um, uh, when it gets into the body, I think probably does do some positive things that we're just really uh, trying to understand now. Mm -hmm. um, as far as the medical use now, the appropriate medical use, it's really uh, uh, a much more specific Very thing. Very limited. Well, uh, people in cosmetic plastic surgery uh, use, use leeches. Tell us how you use them. Really only for uh, quite a specific situation where you uh, have uh, uh, done an operation of some kind that involves cutting away a lot of the tissues so that there's only a little bit of blood supply getting in and out or in a situation where uh, a piece has been chopped off, like a thumb has been amputated. And when that happens, you can usually fix the artery technically easier than the vein. All right, now we're showing pe people at home pictures of a leech being applied yeah. to a toe. Yeah. So I'm assuming this toe had been in some way amputated. Yes, uh, that's, it's a thumb actually. And, and what oh, happened a thumb. <laughs> uh, and uh, what happened was the patient lost, uh, had his thumb amputated. The uh, artery and vein were fixed. The thumb initially was fine. The vein then clotted off because the vein has a smaller and thinner wall. And uh, what you can do is put the leech on the end uh, of the uh, amputated part. It will suck off a little bit of blood, reduce the pressure, and allow the uh, amputated part to continue to live long enough for new veins to grow across the gap. That takes three to five days. So if you're in the situation where you need to use leeches, you need to use them uh, fairly continuously for three to five days. And uh, you just put them on the end, they How suck off blood. How much blood will a leech take It, it doesn't leech? remove a huge amount, probably only 30 or 40 cc's of blood, so quite a small amount. But then after it drops off, because it's injected anticoagulants and other materials into the tissues, uh, the uh, amputated part continues to bleed for usually, oh, four to six hours. Uh, and you can then, if needs be, you could reapply. Put another one on. Yeah. No yeah. kidding. Now, would this treatment be as good as, or is this just the Cadillac standard treatment for this condition? Or? Oh no, it's it's, it's uh, something we use really only in desperation. Uh -huh. It's uh, it's when we have exhausted all of the technical means. Uh, uh, usually, we would attempt to uh, redo uh, the vein and re remove a clot inside a vein first, and this is only for sort of the last resort. Mm -hmm. But it is much better than the other alternative for reducing clotting of, of blood, which is to give them systemic anticoagulants so they can have all sorts of other problems. So it's uniquely uh, useful. So when you this. raise this issue with a patient, how do they respond? Oh, initially, they usually are quite horrified. Yeah. Huh? Uh, but the uh, alternative of having their uh, amputated part uh, uh, turn black and fall off and completely uh, be lost, uh, usually when that's the alternative and they uh, recognize that this may make the difference, uh, they uh, are pretty accepting. They don't hurt, huh? No, they don't hurt, and usually actually patients get pretty attached to them. <laughs> and oh, the other way around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a bad one. Anyway, nice to see you. Thanks for bringing your friends in with us. Thanks, Evan. Um,